Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Envoy with me, Ragatan. Let's level up and then return to the City of Bones. More power for Malachi. Oh, we get to choose our specialization. So for Malachi, we can choose the Technomancer, the Inquisitor, or the Constructor. I've already decided on the Technomancer. We can increase the health, increase mana, Increased mana regen, and no change to resistance penetration. But it is green. Okay. Anyway, the Technomancer is a living conduit who is able to channel electrifying magic and communicate with machines. The Technomancer hits enemies with a staggering performance that leaves everyone stunned. Sounds just like our protagonist. And we get access to Chain to Lightning. Blast target enemy with a lightning bolt that deals 140 shock damage and inflicts stun for 4 seconds and charge for 10 seconds. Works to all enemies within 5 meters dealing 100 shock damage and inflicting stun for 2 seconds and a 50% chance for charged. Status energy, vulnerable. Inflicts stun for 10 seconds on the original target if it has vulnerable. That is a lengthy stun. But that duration does not increase. Bioelectric shields. Gain plus 50% magic shield, but apply minus 15% max health. Energy relays. Gain plus 10% max mana. Electric rod. Costs one summon point. Summons an untargetable rod for 20 seconds. Rapidly attacks nearby enemies. Deals 33 shock damage and inflicts 20% chance for vulnerable and 20% chance for charged. If placed near another rod, both connect and deal increased damage. Electric Cage. Constructs an electric trap in a target area that inflicts immobilize for 4 seconds on entering and leaving enemies. Enemies inside the cage are inflicted with armor shatter for 2 seconds, slow for 2 seconds, and suffer 20 shock damage per second. Status energy vulnerable. Inflicts shatter resistance for 10 seconds on enemies with vulnerable. Oh, it takes different points. But we did get access to Electric Rod. I like that. Because I feel obligated to max out the skills I want in the base tree anyway. So I don't mind having that choice taken away from me. But now that we have another ability, let's get more mana regen. Because now we need more mana. And I'm thinking we... Upgrade Shocking Ground to Charge Ground. I donate to an electric surface and a 12 meter drawn path that lasts for 7 seconds. Inflicts charge for 10 seconds, stun for 3 seconds on entry and deals 16 shock damage per second. So, longer duration by 1 second, longer stun duration by 1 second, and increases base damage by 2. Uh, Kayla. More points into mastery for the mana regen. And health regen is nice too, but it's mostly for the mana regen. And skills... Let's go ahead and max out Fire Apprentice. Increase the duration by 15 seconds. 60 to 75 seconds. And then for Kayla, we can choose the Elementalist, the Combat Medic, or the Summoner. I'm going to go with the Summoner. Then increase to Health, no change to Mana, increase Critical Damage, and no change to Cooldown Reduction. The Summoner is a Druidic Adept who uses their bond with spirits to summon them onto the battlefield. As a last resort, they can become a living vessel, turning their body into a mighty colossus. Which I am pretty excited about. We get access to Earthquake. Conjures an Earthquake in the target area dealing 20 physical damage per second and inflicting Shaken for 20 seconds on enemies within 5 meters. After 6 seconds, the effect ends with a powerful Quake that deals 100 physical damage and inflicts knockdown for 3 seconds on enemies in the area. It's 120 physical damage, since it lasts for 6 seconds. A status energy, vulnerable. On cast, inflicts knockdown for 4 seconds on enemies with vulnerable. So that would give enemies 2 seconds to get out of the effect, before they get knocked down again. Summoning proficiency, gain plus 1 summon point. Alright, so I'm curious if this is additive. So when you get the second upgrade, is that... Three summon points total, or is it saying two total? I'm guessing it's three. 
You get six total plus the two that you have for eight. A frenzied summons. Your summon units gain plus 15% weapon damage, but have minus 25% max HP. Tree of Atonement. Cost two summon points, summons a tree for 30 seconds. Taunts enemies within three meters and inflicts shaken for 20 seconds, reflects 40% of damage received. If placed near another tree, they connect with a vine that inflicts immobilize for three seconds on enemies passing through it. And Living Vines. Grows deadly plants along a 14 meter path, Creates a surface that lasts for 8 seconds, dealing 10 poison damage per second, and inflicting poison for 10 seconds, vulnerable for 20 seconds, and immobilized for 3 seconds on entering enemies. And we get Tree of Atonement. Alright, Benedict. Get his endurance up to 20. It gives him a plus 20% extra health. In fact, let's go ahead and max this out. So he gets uh, an extra 20% elemental resistance. I don't see the Elemental Resistance stat. Unless I'm overlooking it, which I might be. Alright, and he'll of course become the Guardian. He is the Guardian of the City of Bones and our protagonist, so it makes sense. But we have the choice between the Guardian, the Assassin, and the Blade Master. The Guardian's the only one that has a negative stat growth here. We get 10% health. Uh, no change to tenacity and plus 2% armor, which is great for our current build. So the Guardian is the shield against the tides. Able to go headfirst into the enemy lines. The Guardian can keep enemies occupied while shielding their allies from danger using numerous defensive buffs. We get access to Taunt. Grants 120 magic shield for 30 seconds and inflicts Taunt for 10, or sorry, 6 seconds. Sorry, I read too far ahead. I saw the 10 at the bottom. A taunt for 6 seconds on enemies within 5 meters generates increased threat. A status energy Shaken inflicts Taunt for 6 seconds, weakness for 10 seconds on enemies with Shaken. Juggernaut. Gain plus 25% physical resistance and plus 10% elemental resistance. Fantastic buff. Heavyweight. Gain plus 10 max weight. Guardian Flag. Summons a flag for 20 seconds does not require a summoning point. When summoned, grants 81 magic shield to allies within 6 meters for 20 seconds. For the remainder of its duration, it grants plus 41 armor. Also great for a current build. Iron Chains. Pulls target enemy and up to two other nearby enemies towards the caster. Gives 100% weapon damage, inflicts bleed for 6 seconds, and generates increased threat. Status energy shaken. Inflicts bleed for 6 seconds, exhausted for 10 seconds on enemies with shaken. Uh, we could max out shield mastery. But I'm wondering if I should boost this instead. In fact, why not both? I don't need the dash that much. It's okay, but I find I'm not using it that frequently. But I need to spend that point to get to these other things, so... Yeah, we'll go with that. Alright, let's go home. Hey, look at that! Malachi's got more kills than Kayla. So she has much more damage. I think he's just stealing her kills. As soon as I saw the smoke rising in the distance, 
My heart sank. There was nowhere else it could be from. And in that instant, I knew that our lives had changed forever. Our home is on fire. We race back as fast as we can, trembling and fearing the worst. Hold it. Just a little walk. Sure, why not? Oh look, they set up an ex evacuation point near the generator. Maybe mom and dad have le already left. They wouldn't leave the city until everyone else was safe. Let's get going. Read that quick, otherwise they disappear. Sounds interesting. Did you see Hollis? Is she all right? She was seen leaving right before it all started. I, I don't have time for this. I have to find my family. Alice left the city. Do you think she knew something about the attack? Let's not jump to conclusions here. Maybe it's just a coincidence. I wish that dialogue was a little bit more consistent with the voice acting, so I knew whether or not I could sit back and relax and listen to it, or have to be on my toes and try to read it as fast as I can. What happened here? The city is under attack by unknown assailants. We held them off for a while until fires started appearing throughout the city. We are now scouring the streets looking for hostiles that slipped through our defenses. What about our parents? Do you know if they're safe? I haven't seen them. Should we investigate, sir? I need you to brief me on the situation first. We must be sure that the city is safe. You two, go and check on your parents. Sure. Also, is neat that the generator ended up helping out the city. Gotcha. Hey, it's Johnny and the boys. There, I got them. Hey, we know these two. They're not the attackers. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. They're not painted blue, you idiot. What are you still doing here? We're saving the city! Yeah, we're bloody heroes. <laughs> Damn right. Let's get moving, fellas. We've got more of these bastards to kill. And more places to loot. <laughs> That's not something I expected to happen. Maybe they're not as bad as we thought. I just hope there's anything left standing when they're done with the looting part. Heck yeah. Well, I call that as well. Sure, why not? Makes it what two and a half have been right about? Because the generator I wasn't entirely sure doesn't be beneficial for the city. Alright, go to the council chamber. We're hiding in the shadows. Mom! Malachi, help me! Come and hook your arm under... Malachi! Kayla. My sunshine. Let me go. Malachi. Take your sister and leave. Find Benedict. He'll keep you safe. I see in your eyes. That in the end... It all worked out. The Oracle. 
It's the only thing that matters now. <sighs> what are you talking about? I wish... Mel, look after your sister. She's had your back all this time. Now it's your turn. Dad, I don't understand. What's the Oracle? What does it have to do with all this? Dad? Turning and turning in the widening gyre. The falcon cannot hear the falconer. Things fall apart. The center cannot hold. Mere anarchy is loosed upon the world. The blood-dimmed tide is loosed, and everywhere the ceremony of innocence is drowned. The best lack all conviction, while the worst are full of passionate intensity. Nothing's ever going to be the same. I know, Mal. But we still have each other. I'm here for you. Well... I guess that's it. I mean, we've searched the house top to bottom twice now. I found some more notes on the Oracle, whatever it is. It seems they were really invested in researching it. Why would they never tell us about it? I guess now that they're gone, we'll just have to fill the blanks in ourselves. It's getting late. I know we're supposed to meet Benedict on the ship, but maybe we could ask around first, see if we can learn anything else. Sure, it won't hurt. I guess we'll not be coming back here for a while. Lead the way. Uh, portraits. Mother and father stare solemnly from the canvas. It doesn't suit them. They were still here. They always wore a smile. Let's get going. Oh no, the tree. Black. Only the plaque remains of a once great palm tree. The city's heart burned to the ground. Sure. The inn. Temporarily closed. Nobody's in the mood for celebrations. Board. This makeshift display board is littered with notices big and small. Among them, a handful of obituaries. Figurine. A worthy substitute. Why not? Not two of the same enchantments. Different symbols, though. Uh, let's grab this. This is a straight damage upgrade. Uh, grit seems okay as well. Gotcha. We're so thankful for your help in rebuilding the city. I don't know what we do without your supplies. It's but an act of kindness returned. We need to work together if we want to survive. There's no need for any thanks. I wonder if uh, Hollis would have fled the city had we given her that artifact. Sure. What are you talking about? It was just those damn bandits. At least we were prepared for them. This could have ended much worse. Sure, why not? Sounds interesting. 
I do think the next challenge is a level 7 challenge. Requires four party members. Well, doesn't require. Sure. Recommends four party members. So we might hold off on that until we get another one. Let's I'll walk right past this guy. If you ask me, it's all Halas' fault. She should have known that hoarding all this ancient junk is like painting a target on the city. What else could they have hoped to find here? And her disappearing right before the attack? That's beyond suspicious. Sure. First the League, and the Empire, and now this? That's no coincidence. The bandits must have been hired oh, by the I bloody guess we elves. Didn't learn anything new. The League? How is it possible that no one to do knows that anything? Dirty work? <laughs> How could it's nobody have seen the assassins' bodies? The they were right there in the council They've chamber. Treated us like vermin ever Come on, since we let's prepare the ship and talk to Benedict. Human I think it's time he finally answered some of our questions. Like the question of waiting to update till after the dialogue ended. The power core is in place. It was harder this time without dad. Um, but I figured it out. I wish you could see it. I didn't do half bad. You did great, Mal. Let's take off then. There's nothing keeping us here. Maybe we should check our house again. You know, our parents were singled out and killed for a reason. There have to be clues. We shouldn't linger. All I can say is that you are correct. Your parents are not just random victims. All the more reason to stay on the move. The city is not safe now, and we cannot risk them coming after you too. Ben, this is the worst time to be cryptic. No, you're right, but... Oh, damn it. I owe you that. Your parents tried to shield you from this, but there are things that you have to know if you wish to avenge them. Before I came to the City of Bones with your parents, we worked for the Empire. Avian and Melissa study the ancients and their technology. That's... They never told us about it. So what happened? Why did you leave? They didn't like the direction in which the Empire took their research. Refused to have their work used to aid the war effort. When they asked me to help them escape, I didn't think twice. But then the Empire was no longer the country I swore to protect. It's still hard to believe that there was a time when the Empire was a different place. But what about our parents' work? Can you tell us more about it? All I know is that it drew some unwanted attention. Somehow your mother suspected the claw was real and would be looking for her. I wasn't sure if she was serious at the time, but I guess we all know now that it was no joke. The only claw I know of is just a folk tale. Some sort of a secret society operating from the shadows. Are we really talking about the same thing? I'm afraid so. The marks on the assassin's hands were the exact symbol that Melissa told me to look out for. It's not much, but it's a clue. That's right. That and also the Oracle, whatever it is. Dad mentioned it before he... Great. So we are not starting empty-handed. Two threads to follow. But uh, where do we start? Let's stop at Free Phoenicia first, or the Free City, as the locals call it. It's a huge trading hub, filled with opportunities and intel. And on a more pragmatic note, I have some friends who might help us get around the place. That's reasonable. I think that settles it. All right. I trust you, Benedict. Thank you. For everything. It's the least I can do. All right, the plot thickens. Just a little walk. We wanted to leave the desert and explore the world beyond for a long time. Now that our dream has come true, I'm hardly able to enjoy it. The pain of losing our parents, my home, still aches in my chest. I keep seeing the emptiness in Mal's eyes when he doesn't realize I'm looking. We'll always bear the scars of this day, and I worry 
well, it will do to Malachi. In other circumstances, I'd have been excited to visit Free Phoenicia. I've heard enough stories to know that it's similar to our own home in spirit, but its size and complexity are far beyond what I grew up with. The adventure, the experience, the things I could learn there. The possibilities struggle to lift my aching heart like they used to. I hope that this new city helps us deal with our pain and can offer us some answers. Oh, all the way up there. Alright, to Free Phoenicia. They say money can't buy you happiness. Whoever came up with this surely hasn't been to Free Phoenicia. Vasso, I'm so glad you found the time to meet us here. Hela, Malachi, meet my old friend Vasso. Nice to see you, again. The circumstances aren't any better. All the more reason to be glad to see an ally and a great warrior. I strive to do only what is right. Though Vasa was too modest to tell you, she was a first sword, and highly revered before she was forced to retire. Are you kidding me? You have to tell me all about it. I'd gladly hear this story too, but maybe off the main street. I feel like we shouldn't discuss anything in the open, even here. That is sensible. You are safe in free Phoenicia. But eavesdropping is considered a national sport here. Ben, I've given Pablo a heads up that you are coming. There's no better place to rest and plan your stay. Great. You can go first. I have one more friend to check on first. I would never hear the end of it if I didn't include Leon in this gathering. I take it she didn't join our party? No, not yet. Sure. Sure. Stalls. They have every good one could possibly want here. Most of it under the counter. Sounds interesting. A trainer. Soul Treaders. Health regen plus one per second. Mana regen plus 0.4 per second. And Soul Eater. Race nearby enemy killed. Grants a stack of Soul Eater buff. Max 20, each stack increases skill power by 2%. Oh, okay, so you reset your specialization as well. That's neat. This is the league's little sure. corner of the city. Balcony. The vegetation here looks foreign and borderline fantastical. Whoever tends to this garden must be using magic to sustain it. That's the Empire side. So it looks like it's a choice between technology and magic. I don't think we've seen the real industrial side of the Empire yet. Sure. Generators. The generators built into the stone walls shine so ferociously 
Uh, they could be mistaken for lighthouse beacons. Sounds interesting. Right, let's get inside. I am so sorry for the tragedy that befell you and your city. I've never met your parents, but I heard many good things about them. It's a terrible loss. According to Benedict, you may require some assistance in your endeavor. I'd be happy to help. If you can leave your creations alone for five minutes. Thank you, Leon. We'll gladly accept help from such a skilled engineer. I'm afraid I won't be much help in the fight. But if you need a place to stay, you're welcome here anytime. My culinary skills are useful in their own way. They certainly are, Pablo. Your hospitality is... There you are. Let's go. There's a problem. Excuse me? Who are you? Sesti is my, uh, friend? Uh, assistant. We, uh, tolerate each other in the same room. How did she find us? It's what she does, human. Now come. The city may be in danger. What's the problem? There's no time to explain. We need to move. Now. Meet me at the caves. You can help humans. Or possibly die. I don't care. Your friend seems charming, Leon. Who is she? Cestia works for Free Phoenicia. She helps me around the workshop, and I sometimes help her with missions for them too in exchange for machine parts. We've worked together enough that I'm sure she'll be interested in joining us after whatever's going on. If she's asked for help, she needs it. Well, I don't know about any of you, but I'll be glad to go out and do something to take my mind off things. All right, so we got Vaso, uh, Kind Soul, she's an adept. She's also a summoner, if I remember right, because she had the earthquake ability and the trees. A Kind Soul who used to hold the position of the first blade in the League's army. Vaso is full of contradictions. Uh, stories about her former glory describe a woman of ruthless determination and blazing conviction. This only makes the calm, composed lady of today seem more interesting than she already is. And Leon is an engineer. The best of the brightest the Empire has produced. A one-of-a-kind engineer and inventor, with a short temper and limitless admiration for human ingenuity. Always fervently behind a cause he believes in, Leon is ready to make the change he wants to see in the world. Oh, we got three companions, alright. Uh, Cestia is a ranger. An extraordinarily great sword for hire. Cestia's reliability garnered her many privileges she wouldn't have otherwise enjoyed, given her troubles with handling people. Her lack of interest in talking only adds to the mysterious aura surrounding her and her motivations. We have some choices. We also have some leveling up to do. And some research. 149. Alright. Um, Let's do some of these, I guess. We'll do a Weapon Enchanting 2, unlocks enchantment recipes for weapons, Vampiric Touch, Healing Mod, and Bloodlust Mod. An extra enchantment slot. Adds an enchantment slot to crafted items of rare rarity. Armor Enchanting 2, unlocks enchantment recipes for armor, strong criticals, abnormal growth, and healer's armor. And Jewelry Enchanting 2, unlocks enchantment for recipes, by enchantment recipes for jewelry. Defense Matrix, Might Over Power, and Repetitive Magic. And then we'll do Imperial Weapons. Unlocks crafting recipes for Imperial one-handed and two-handed items. Axe, Crossbow, Dagger, Hammer, Gauntlet, Pistol, Wand, Sword, Rifle, Bow, Staff, Polearm, Prism. And Elven Weapons. Unlocks crafting recipes for Elven one-handed, two-handed items. Uh, axe, Crossbow... It's not a Staff here, right? That's a Prism instead. So Axe, Crossbow, Dagger, Hammer, Gauntlet, Pistol, Wand, Sword, Rifle, Polearm, Bow, Prism, Staff. Uh, improve statistics. Upgrades base statistics of crafted items. Yeah. Why not? We need one more for another upgrade. Well, that's fine. Alright, so next time we're going to level up all of our new companions and see what they're capable of. I wonder if their specializations are already picked for us. 
it's not. Okay, cool. So from what we saw of Leon, it seems like he's good. He's supposed to be a constructor. Avaso started off as a summoner, but we can make her something else now. Maybe a combat medic. We'll figure it out. By the way, for now, I'm going to call it here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.